Hello, welcome to Cisco Live in San Diego, and we're here at the NOC. So behind me you can see a variety of equipment, some Cisco equipment, uh, the 78 series I believe. We've got a Gigamon HC2 providing real-time visibility. Also some uh, network appliance devices as well providing storage. So specifically what's behind me are two 10 gig links from CenturyLink um, into California and into Colorado providing the connectivity for all of the 17,000 devices, the endpoints that are being uh, driven by this knock at the show. So what we're going to talk about specifically today is Gigamon's new capability uh, called software-defined visibility. Now that's our ability to work through APIs, application programmable interfaces, to be able to provide real-time changes in the types of data we look at, to be able to change the way that we look at that data in terms of the manipulation, to only filter for this, or to only filter for that type of traffic, um, perhaps to be able to modify the way that we look at SSL, or to only look at SSL, to decode SSL on this particular feed, or to only decode SSL on that particular type of feed. So what this allows uh, network uh, NOx, network operation centers to be able to do, and tool vendors, is to be able to change the nature of the visibility fabric to be able to provide just the data that they're looking for and only certain types of data and in certain types of format uh, into uh, the analytic devices or into storage devices. So the, the ROI, the, the return on, on, on this type of uh, new, new technology, new feature, is that there's less storage that's needed, uh, there's less processing that's needed in the tools so that uh, operators, enterprises, uh, remote data centers, et cetera, IT operational managers, uh, can just get an idea of the, the specific problems on the network, or even, in real time, stop bad actors dead in their tracks to be able to pull all of that traffic, bad traffic, off the network. So that's what, uh, that's what we're looking at here at Cisco Live with Gigamon's new software-defined visibility capabilities through REST APIs. Well, Cisco NOC Network Operations Center is not just a place, it's a group of a number of people who've come together from across Cisco, both geographically and organizationally, to put together the network that all the attendees here at Cisco Live use. Uh, our network spans from not only here in the San, uh, San Diego Convention Center, but out to the Hilton and the Hyatt. Uh, just. Uh, about 10 minutes ago or so, we had over 13,000 wireless clients online and we've already pushed over 17 terabytes of traffic to the internet. Uh, this network is designed for that kind of density and we've been doing this for a while, learning year over year, trying to come up with the best networking experience for our attendees uh, possible. We could not do uh, this network, we could not do Cisco Live from a network infrastructure standpoint without strong partnerships. Uh, within our, uh, our internet itself comes from our partner CenturyLink. They're providing us two uh, 10 gig circuits, 20 gig of internet bandwidth. Our prov uh, partner NetApp provides us all of the storage we use in our data center that hosts all of our virtual machines for doing all of the services that we need to host the attendees here at Cisco Live. Finally, this year we're partnering with Gigamon in order to provide uh, better visibility into our traffic for a number of new services, both on-premises and cloud, such as Mobility IQ, uh, the threat wall, and then our own traffic analysis using our network analysis uh, uh, module product. Uh, while we believe and we're doing a lot in terms of network automation here, this network cannot be possible without both automation to gather statistics and to look at telemetry, but also to do the configuration and the deployment. We're not using ACI in terms of the Nexus 9K uh, specifically. We're looking at how we might expand next year as bandwidth and, and, and demand of our attendees grows, but this year we're using a lot of what we have in terms of our own embedded automation and automation capabilities within our devices, and we're looking at ways we can extend that with uh, newer programmatic capabilities uh, as we need new technologies here at Cisco Live. So coming up next, we've got a real live use case with a tool vendor partner, and they're going to walk through what software-defined visibility and the advantages of implementing these APIs has meant for them and their particular tools. All right, so we're here today talking about the Observer Performance Management Platform and the integration between the Observer Performance Management Platform and the, the Gigamon visibility fabric. So what we've done with Gigamon is we've integrated Observer with the Gigamon fabric via the new APIs in order to be able to capitalize on software-defined visibility so that the tools can actually control what information they have and what they need to see and what they don't need to see. So a real typical use case is something called dynamic filtering. 
where the tools actually have the ability to decide how much information they need to have available to them and determine what the appropriate levels of that information are. So sometimes you need more packets or more flows in order to be able to identify an issue or generate the appropriate information to troubleshoot a problem. And sometimes you need less information so that you can avoid overloading the system or in general just uh, having too much superfluous data flowing into the interface. So with the new dynamic filtering integration, the observer performance management platform has the ability to actually dictate what data is being received from the Gigamon visibility fabric. So the types of challenges we're trying to address with this integration is because visibility is so critical and organizations are trying to generate so much information to understand how they can correct problems when they exist, plan for technology implementations and integrations, and optimize the existing technology in their environments, they need to have the right content at the right times. The problem is, is that you, it, it puts a big onus on the end user to attempt to determine what the right information is and how to get it into, in this particular instance, the Observer Performance Management Platform. And so by integrating Observer with Gigamon, the tools have the ability to actually dictate for themselves what information is available, what's valuable, and what's not valuable. And so that way, the context of what's occurring and what's not occurring within the environment that perhaps should be is always dictated by the tools and doesn't require any user intervention, doesn't require any cycles from the organization. And that way, they can focus on running their business and not running their visibility environments. So JDSU is an organization that helps some of the largest communication infrastructures in the world to deploy, test, and plan monitor and manage their environments. Specifically, the Observer Performance Management Platform from JDSU is designed to help businesses recognize maximum value from their IT investments. Uh, regardless of that's private or public cloud, hosted data center, or BYOD access environments, the challenges remain the same. When a problem exists, the organization needs to be able to quickly and effectively correct that issue. When organizations want to redeploy their technology, perhaps into a new environment, recognize some of the benefit of public cloud environments, for example, you need to be able to plan that migration so that it can go off without a hitch. And then, of course, once you have those new technologies up and running, you constantly want to be optimizing, both so that you can provide a better user experience, but also so that you can help the business generate more revenue from your IT investments. So looking forward, we see massive opportunities for this level of integration. Not only dynamic filtering and contextual awareness, but things like SSL decryption all play a part in optimizing the data that the tools have to be able to produce all the relevant context and all the information that they provide to help businesses organize and manage uh, their IT environments. To learn more about Gigamon's visibility fabric and how your organization can benefit from active visibility, please download the white paper.